What's up rhetorical thinkers, Eddie here. And in case you haven't realized by now, I'm a YouTuber. I have views, likes, and subs. With that comes certain responsibilities. For example, trend hopping. You may not like it when channels do it, or you may not want channels to do it, but you've got to realize it's survival of the fittest on here. And if there's a trend or a type of video that's getting lots and lots of views, I basically have no choice. I literally have to do it. Luckily, I've spent a considerable amount of time on YouTube, so I know what gets views. You're probably thinking the same thing as me. Cinnamon. <laughs> That's right, I'm sure. It's simple maths. One tablespoon of cinnamon, one million views. Can't really get any simpler than that. So I've gone ahead and done the preparation. So I said, I've gotten this cinnamon, a tablespoon of cinnamon, I've placed it into this shot glass. It might not look like a tablespoon, but I guarantee you it is a tablespoon of cinnamon. I simply throw this into my mouth, I swallow it, millions of views. Viral video? I don't know. Maybe. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm. the cinnamon challenge. 2008 called, they want their challenge back. Yeah, so I was a little bit off with what I thought was the trend of challenging. As it turns out, the big thing going around is boxing. That's right. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be calling someone out. So I'm going to be issuing a challenge to a popular YouTuber. The other call is actually pretty basic. There are three steps in which you need to hit and you're going to have a perfect call out. Step one, to be attacking a channel that has a larger sub count than you or more viewership than you for obvious Kota related reasons. Also them being a large channel, there's more of a chance that they actually won't respond to you, which just validates your points. Secondly, you need to have some sort of drama or beef with this person. If you don't have this drama or beef, it's quite simple, make one up. If you don't have time to do that, just lie, pretend you have one, or make a bunch of vague statements that insinuate that there's an issue between you two, and you're set. Finally, because they may actually accept your call out, and this is where you could be possibly backed into a corner, because you made the call out and then someone accepts your fight, and you need to be prepared to be able to beat them. So the person you're calling out, after, the, after you tick the first two criteria, you need to actually be able to beat them. You need to be confident. You're not going to go pick a fight with someone twice your size or a professional MMA fighter. You're going to pick a fight. You, oh, not pick a fight. You're going to be challenging someone who you can take quite easily and quite concisely. <coughs> You're probably wondering who I'm about to call out. It's obvious, isn't it? They get millions of views on every single video. You post videos every single day, almost. You have well over 10 million subscribers, and I think we all know you don't deserve them. I wonder to myself sometimes, how many of those subscribers and views are fake views? Well, it's time for you to prove just how real you are. Because this is real. This challenge is real. This drama between us, it's real. Oh, it's real. I'm calling out Ryan's toy reviews. Dad. 